Hi there and welcome back to my animation channel. Today I'm going to run through how I created the train and the hand car in my short animation movie that I'm busy making, Train Spotting. And um, I'll just quickly show you the process. So I really enjoyed this one. This one was a fun one to do. Um, the hand car itself is, um, is uh, you don't really see much of these anymore. It's, it's quite an old contraption, but um, very, very fun and the train was um was more basic and required less um work on it but um the animation of it actually worked out to be a little bit more tricky than i expected so there's something in there as well so it's the two machines it's the hand car and it's the train i've sped this one up quite a bit because i'm trying to make these videos less than 15 minutes or not more than 15 minutes this one runs to about 20 odd minutes um, so the process has been sp sped up quite a bit. I want to show you the whole process. I want you to see basically from start to end. And because these things take hours, we, we just don't. Well, we have the time, but who's going to watch them? So um, sit back, enjoy, relax. And if you're liking my videos, please uh, subscribe. And uh, you can also fi find me on uh, Instagram. And thanks again for your support. with we putting in some rail lines to uh, ascertain the perspective of the, the objects that we're creating here in this case we're starting with the um, with the hand car so we draw the rail lines in first to to create perspective and work off that the end product of this um, hand car didn't have good perspective you'll see at the end um, I honestly don't know how I managed to do that because my perspectives are usually good. detail here on the uh, mechanics of this thing um, perhaps not necessary but um, rather rather have too much than too little we're just uh, using shapes here basic shapes rectangles circles straight lines um, and we're building this thing up open tunes is very easy to to work with in this way I considered building this thing um, in Photoshop or in the Illustrator and bringing it over but uh, you lose a lot uh, I've tried that you'll see it later with the train um, where when you're bringing something in as a um, imported object or imported file or layer you you can lose a lot of resolution at pixelates etc you don't you don't get good color where possible it's better to build it in open tunes it's easy enough it's straightforward and uh, you you get that clarity that you get from a vector object and so i can recommend doing that
here we just um, we kind of getting to the end of the actual object we are adding a bit of detail adding the rear wheels layering this thing up so that um, the back objects are at the bottom and that's pretty straightforward to do layer up or layer down as a group so it makes it much easier to work with actual hand car itself has been built now and um, it was pretty straightforward and now we are populating it with uh, our two characters and this is quite fun because it's pretty clear where the characters hands have to be on every cell you just have to join them to the actual handles of the hand car and that's it so it's not like a walk cycle where the character he has carte blanche. Here the character got his feet firmly placed on the floorboards of this car and his hands are firmly gripped to that handbar. Nice and straightforward and uh, fun to animate. <music> create the second character, the guy facing us, and it's the same basic system, starting with his hands fixed to the handbar of this part, and the character itself will be animated off that, so as those handles going up and down, the character's hands will be going up and down with it, so that will be our attachment, and his arms and his body and his hips and his knees will just pivot and rotate around that so quite nice to animate this way quite unusual because usually your character will be not fixed as such unless he was doing something similar like in a canoe where his hands are attached to a paddle or such um, usually your character is um, pretty free and he's doing a walk cycle or run cycle or whatever here he's, his feet are fixed firmly to the planks of the, of the car and the only things actually that are moving are his hands. So kind of reverse animation if you want. It's quite nice because it's it's unusual. And it's also quite nice because it's it's pretty straightforward to animate. You have feet fixed, hands moving, and the body itself is pivoting and squashing and bending uh, around it. So quite nice, quite simple animation, quite fun. Okay, once we've um we've set this thing up so the two characters are on the cart it's time to position it on the track so we need to scale it scale it up or down to fit the track and this is where as I was saying earlier the mistakes can be seen the perspective is not not good on this uh, you can see as it's coming out the tunnel here the angle of the leading edge is not right um, and also the far wheels are not affixed to the track. So that is problematic. But at this stage it's it's not going to spoil the animation as such. So we're leaving it in. It is something I can come back at a later stage and fix. So once we have our car size wise sorted and, and placed, we are just setting up the animation of it on the X sheet in its own column. We have now the 
car and the two characters on one separate column. We are going through their cheat and placing the cells so that as this thing moves, the jacking motion is happening. And also what we're doing is we are animating this cart so that we're moving it along the track. We are animating the scale as well so it um, gets bigger as it comes out towards us. And that's it. That's basically it. finished. Now we are setting up the train. We have taken a screenshot of the background and brought it into our vector platform. In this case I'm using Coral Draw. You can use whatever vector program you have or drawing program. I'm using preferably a vector program. So we are drawing perspective lines to get this perspective on this train right. Uh, adjusting the, the windows at the front, the windscreen, etc. So that um, the perspective is true. Once we've uh, set up the train's perspective, we can uh, export it as PNG files and bring it over into OpenTunes, um, set it up in a new column and um, import it. pixelates very quickly uh, the the second half of the train because as it's coming out the tunnel it's getting bigger and bigger the pixelation gets out of hand so basically it's back to the the vector drawing package uh, coral draw and we are chopping up the train so we are dividing it into three export it as png files and bring them in so instead of animating one object uh, we're now animating three so it's a little tricky because you have to get the perspective right that's probably the main thing here is getting true perspective because you will see if it's out of perspective um, because it's so long it's going to be quite obvious the scale as well was tricky so again like the hand car um, when it comes out the tunnel it's small as it exits screen right it's quite a bit larger and that's a matter of scaling this thing as it goes. Being a long object, although there are three parts to this long object, the front and back will be at obviously different ends of the screen and so it's a bit finicky scaling it but um, hey what's animation if not a challenge so a lot of tweaking a lot of trial and error this took quite a bit of time to get this right having a train coming out of a tunnel pretty straightforward you'd think um, well it wasn't it turned out to be quite finicky and quite tricky but also fun it was a challenge
tuning this and getting it so that it's a nice smooth move what I found really helpful was to use a basis of marking so every fifth window actually five and a half windows each carriage would meet a certain point on the screen and in this case it was the edge of that rock at a certain height and so that was quite helpful in getting this to move left to right smoothly and once again it's coming at you at a certain angle so you do have that perspective challenge but um, I think we nailed it and we're just doing some final tweaking here but pretty much it's done the train is exiting very smoothly which is what we're looking for and um, we're done